Dear friends, welcome back. Over the past few days, I attended one forum on the cybersecurity, so I didn't upload any video. Anyway, I come back with the new machine on the Van Hub, which is a Quad One. The link will will be added into the description section below, so that you can learn, download and play the machine. I believe you, if you take the some sort of methodology, you can get the machine done without problem. Before we go ahead, if you don't mind, please sub subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You are greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's just get started. We can switch over to the Canon Linux VM. First of all, we need to discover the IP address of the target. The utility I'd like to use, as always, would be net discover. As you can see over here, I use the option of I to specify the interface, so the discovery packets will be sent out from this interface. Also, response will be received at the this interface, and also I use the option of R to narrow down the network scope. Okay, so now we can press enter. As you can see over here, the IP address of the target could be recognized as 159. So what are we going to do next? We need to do the port scanning and also serve scanning with a map. To save time of this video, I've already completed it before. So for now, we just cut out its result. As you can see over here, I used the options like scene scan, the virtual scan, the de default script scan, followed by the dash p dash to do the full range port, port scan. The last option for all is on to output the result into this file. So from the map scanning results, we can tell that the target has one, two, three open port numbers and also the 21, the state at this moment is filtered. So maybe, you know, the this port number is protected by the firewall. We can keep this information into our mind as we move forward. Okay. So as you can see, the target has 80 port number open, which is running HTTP service and also the verse information, Apache 2. And the next two Port numbers are used by the Samba. Yeah, we are very familiar with these two uh, port numbers, right? So what do we have to do next? Just I mentioned in the other videos, if the target has file sharing service running, we need to take this service as our object to emulate. So this case should be the Samba because FTP service at this moment is filtered or it's, run, it's not running, okay? So so how to do the emulation with the Samba surface? I'd like to make very quick recap. The techniques, techniques and the steps to emulate Samba surface. The first one, we can use SMB client. We can use the upcase L option to, to show us the available shares on the or by the target. And uh, next, we can if uh, the shares are available or is available by the target, we can use SMB client, the same utility to access this, uh, you know, accesses the sh the share okay and uh, and if uh, nothing returned uh, from those two steps we can use enum for linux uh, to you know to for the more emulation and uh, normally we can use this utility to retrieve the user limbs of the target okay so let's show you in action and let's pull up the terminal. We can use SMB client 
followed by the IP address of the target, and we can provide the password of my own machine. As you can see, the the two shares. Of course, this one is default one IPC dollar. Hmm, we cannot get anything from this share, but this one caught our attention. And so next we can use SMB client. And we can copy the share name, light share. We can paste over here. However, we got the access denied error, which is fine. So next we can use the enum for Linux utility to make furthermore immersion. You know, a lot of outputs are by the, this utility. But normally I use this utility to retrieve the user names from the target. Okay, just I mentioned earlier. So I, as you as can see over here, the two users we can copy. And uh, so this should be the user name. And the second user name is this one. Okay. Of course, at uh, this point, we can use Hydra to, you know, to make brute forcing. However, you know, if you cut out the result of the uh, map scanning, at this moment, the FTP surface is not running. And also, no SSH surface is running on the target either. So how to do? I think we need to move ahead, go ahead with the HTTP surface. And we can fire up the browser to do the manual emulation first. And we can put the IP address of the target into address address bar of the browser. Here, uh, some information help me. My computer has been hacked by this guy. And uh, I think this one is very familiar, right? We have already got the user name. And uh, so maybe this, this user is not original user. This is the hacker. And I have lost... I have lost access to my computer password. If you help me, I'll, I'll tell everything about uh, this guy so you can help me to hack her back. Okay, please. I'm sure I'll help, but nothing. So <laughs> even the password to her secret diary is this one we can copy. So very wonderful. Even we do not do, you know, uh, very much but uh, we have already got the credentials. But uh, for now, we, we don't know, we do not know where to use these credentials yet. And so now also we can check its source code, but nothing there. And uh, anyway, so go back and take a look at the second button. Nope, okay, nothing there. So next we can you know, we need to, to do the automatic immersion with the, this web application. And so how to do, we can use Nikoto to do the automatic immersion. As you can see over here, the Nikoto can give us the information about this web application from different aspects like the banner or the verse information and also the header information and also some common files or directories like uh, images. We can take a look at this directory. But the forbidden, we do not have permission to access uh, this directory. And also the logging, very important discovery by the Nikito, logging. Even so, I think now we have really got the access or the entry to use this credentials right so but before I try this one I'd like to do the directory emulation first and we can put the IP address of the target into the you know the terminal and we can use the W option to specify the word list directory 
and use the extension option PHP HTML press enter and you can you you know you can see that the several uh, directories and the files like index logging and the deployment maybe we can take a look at this directory deployment but the forbidden again so we can put this information for a while and uh, I think I do not want to wait anymore because I don't think we can find anything else beyond those discoveries okay so to save time of this video I'd like to interrupt here okay and also the mule okay we can take a look at this directly hmm so what's that and we can check source code okay nothing uh nothing interesting here so next i think we can use this credential to log in you know log in to the login page what we we've discovered earlier and the password and submit mm, we got very cute cats pictures so welcome to my secret layer mm, okay and we can check its source code nothing here however if you look at the the URL and maybe this one from the pattern of the URL we can guess th that uh, maybe this page is vulnerable to the local file inclusion vulnerability let's try to access the password file but not found so next we need to add some up layer indeed the target or this page is vulnerable to the local file inclusion vulnerability and uh, you can get to know indeed the this target has two normal users a car and the make mean okay so how to do you know just now we have already know that the target is vulnerable to the lfi vulnerability or local file inclusion vulnerability so how to exploit and first of all we need to try to access the private key and next we can try to retrieve the local file the author local file and the next we can try to access the access local file of the apache 2 and if those uh, you know do not work and we can try to test remote file inclusion vulnerability okay and uh, next we can try to for example retrieve the bash history file of course this is the some sort of the standard method methodology if you take this methodology you can solve you know most of uh, challenges what you will face okay and uh, let me show you in action so maybe i i'd like to use the terminal rather the rather than the browser okay for example we can copy and we can use the queue however nothing returned <laughs> a bit weird actually we need to specify the cookie because this is the you know uh, this should be the authenticated so how to do we can use the we can use the cookie we can specify the cookie information we can open the inspect storage so we can get the cookie 
data from the browser, and then you access this uh, address again, you can retrieve the password file. Next, we can try to, you know, retrieve the private key. Home and a car. But nothing returned. Next, we try the second user. Nothing. And next, we can try to retrieve the local file of the SSH. But maybe lock. Nothing returned. So next, we can try to retrieve the access lock of the Apache 2. Nothing returned. So next we can try the remote file. We can create the test file and set up the web server on the Kali Linux. So next we can change this. So nothing returned. So all failed. I have already tried uh, uh, these five normal techniques, but uh, none of them can work for this case. So how to do? So hold it down. Do you remember? Uh, during the stage of the map scanning, we know that uh, the FTP surface is filtered at that moment. So maybe there's some sort of the firewall in place on the target, right? So maybe we we can so by by retrieving the some configuration files of the firewall and then we can know more information about this firewall. Okay, so how to do? We can access the IP table configuration file should be under IP tables loose. V4. As you can see, we got back the, this configuration file. And apparently, uh, there is one loop in place. Uh, we'll filter the, this port number 21 or FTP surface. So, <clears throat> also, you know, we need to. So, how to do next? Maybe we need to make, we need to do the port knocking to. Let it open, okay? So how to do? To retrieve the in, in, in this room, sorry. We can access the, or retrieve the knock, 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 D, Confo. As you can see, we actually successfully retrieved the configuration file of the knock and this should be the sequence so this sequ this sequence is configured by the this you know the knock d a surface okay and to let it open or let to let the ftp surface running or open we need to make a pod locking okay so how to make pod locking we can use the knock followed by the IP address of the target, and then the sequence. Okay, very straightforward. Next, we can do the map scanning. Press enter to see whether uh, the FTP surface uh, this time is running. As you can see, that it indeed the FTP surface is running. And then, you know, maybe we can use the credentials what we've uh, retrieved or got earlier. So this one to log in to the FTP surface, FTP. 
and we can copy the username and then password. We can supply the password to log in. It does work, okay? And uh, we can get the hello to the Linux for analysis. And also there is one directory, production. Mm, we got uh, the, this text file, oh, sorry, not cat, get. And uh, let's go back or open up another tab <clears throat> to take a look at uh, those files, what we downloaded from the target, the hello. So um, welcome to my secret layer. I think this one I remember, do you remember? You know, this should be the welcome page when we, you know, log in to the, to the application with the credentials. So also the, the second one, mm, this one, and also the notes. So please do not delete this directory. Production. Yeah, the, we are within the production. So maybe we can upload our malicious file to this directory. So how to do? I've already got a prepared uh, this uh, reverse shell file, ready? And uh, for, you can get it from the, like, the website, like a uh, pen test monkey website. So next we can try if we have permission to upload to this file. It can, no error, okay? And also do we, okay? So next we can set up the listener on the Linux, And next we can, I think this should be the location of our uploaded file. Shell, press enter, but it doesn't work. Why? It looks like it's working. Now we go back. Yeah, we successfully uh, got the collection from the target, which is fantastic. And then we can spawn the interactive shell by Python. We can import a PTY module and PTY spawn method. And also we can define the variable a term valuable color clear so what uh, do we have to do next we need to you know make local immersion for example we can go to the home directory clear so acquire Nothing there. However, you know, there is another user, McGuin. So next, I think we can switch our shell from the WW uh, hyphen data user to McGuin. So how to do? We can copy. We can use this password. You know, sometimes the credentials are reused by different scenarios. We can copy and 
But uh, one weird thing about this user: no home directory, right? But、um, anyway, it does work. So next,、uh, I think we can go to the home directory, but not there. Next, we can try sudo. Hmm, we can. Ah,、uh, this user backdoor, and we can. Check out its permission for this user backdoor. Hmm, doesn't this kind of user Maguin Ming doesn't have permission to modify this file? Anyway, we can cut out this file. Hmm, backdoor opened. Ha <laughs> ha, and the wrong user, and this should be the user name. And we'll set up the listener. So I think we can make a lateral movement by running sudo, sudo, and as you can see, the back door has set up. So next we can, you know, connect to the back door from the Kaninix. We can open up another tab. And ID, and、uh, we can spawn the interactive shell. Okay, so next we can run the sudo again. Ah,、oh, very easy. We can run root or like ESP, like a codes. But、uh, this one is the easiest way to. Elevate a privilege. The question is how to do. We can go to the website of GTF Obins. You know this website contains instructions on how to elevate privilege by different binaries. This case should be the GDB. You know very important utility for the reverse engineering and sudo. So. To elevate privilege, we just copy this command and paste over here. It does work, right? And then we can retrieve the root flag without any problem. So that's all I'd like to take in this video. See you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day, please.